Brian Windhorst joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. It's clear that uh, Rich Paul's stance also has not changed in terms of the Celtics. He said if the Celtics go ahead and acquire him, it'll be for one year. In the event that he decides to walk away and you gave away assets, don't blame Rich Paul. And he also swore that no matter who gets him, they're going to test free agency in 2020, which all signs, again, point to don't make this move, Boston. Um, why? What, what's the issue with the Celtics? Well, um, I, I can also just tell you that this is a stance that he has had since January or February. Their position that he prefers the Lakers, but is also interested in playing in the Knicks for the Knicks, and that no matter where he gets traded, he will not extend. That those have not changed in months. Um, now. Um, he has his reasons why he doesn't want to play for the Celtics. I'm not going to speculate what those reasons are, but I can just tell you that the entire operation was basically undertaken because he didn't want to play for the Celtics. But players don't get to choose where they play when they're under these contracts. Um, Paul George did not get to choose to play for the Thunder. Kawhi Leonard did not get to choose to play for the Raptors. Um, And those two teams made those deals anyway, and both of them are pretty darn happy about it. So, um, Rich is doing his, his client wants to play for the Lakers. He instructed his agent, get me to the Lakers as fast as possible. And he is operating on behalf of his client. Now we can debate and argue whether the public relations fallout from this maneuver is worth it for Anthony Davis. Um, that he couldn't have just waited. That's a fair argument, but I just, from where I stand, and again, I've been watching the story and talking about it and, And I talked to Anthony Davis in a a private interview as far back as October about something like this. Their stance has never changed. Uh, They want what they want. Anthony wants what he wants. And he has instructed his agent to get it for him. And that's what he's trying. Well, how much of this has to do with LeBron? Because obviously um, with the late current state of the Lakers and the viewpoint that so many fans have and potentially uh, free agents have about coming to the Lakers, this would be an absolute godsend that somebody of Anthony Davis's caliber is insisting on going there. And Rich Paul's comments about the Lakers being like, J-Lo, why wouldn't you want to marry somebody uh, of that note and that stature? Um, it, it does all point to LeBron with two plus one left there and a closing window of opportunity. Anthony Davis being dropped in there would be an absolute godsend. How much of this is, is LeBron related, Brian? Yeah, yeah, I think that some of the way they've gone about this is coarse and, you know, probably not helped public relations-wise, but I think they're just being honest. Um, LeBron does want to play with Anthony Davis. He does, He did want to play with another star player when he came to the Lakers. It was part of the plan when he signed. He was willing to wait to make it happen. He doesn't want to wait two years. He wants. To, he wants one now. Um, I don't think it was a smart move for LeBron to come out at midseason and say, I want to get Anthony Davis. Um, But why wouldn't he? And then, you know, to to sort of, I mean, you know, the the J-Lo thing is, again, a little bit coarse. (laughs) It's not the smoothest, you know, comment. But um, if you you want to live in L.A., and clearly Anthony Davis does, he has an $8 million mansion there that he's renovating. He clearly wants to be in L.A. And you're at the top of your profession. Why wouldn't you do it? Um, I mean, I, you know, Rich, you moved to Los Angeles. I assume we're very happy. Yes. Um, you're, you're at the top of your profession. Um, you know, I live in Omaha, Nebraska. I, I went to my bosses and said, I want to move to Omaha, Nebraska. They let me move. I mean, I, I mean it's, again, it, it's difficult, um, but I don't think it's, it's untrue. And I don't think it's without, not in common sense, um, whether it, or not it can happen on the timeline everybody wants it that's another story for more of the rich eisen show tune to audience channel 239 on direct tv for free on br live or download the rich eisen show app